All right, we've started the carriage on into the rails, and it hits to here. He means lock. Right. And it stops. Let me show you what's going on. This is what's hitting, because these jaws need to come back over here, like so. And if you'll notice, watch what happens to this piece when the jaws are all the way over to the Oh, left. it drops. Right. Into the lock. Right. Now, see, it's got to ride this rail right here. Mm -hmm. And these are the teeth that drive this. So now that we've rotated it, and let me show you again what I did, is I've rotated the jaws into a position where this is now free to move. And I want to tell the knitters that are watching this, this lock is working, but it has become very stiff. So we had to get it off of the table where it was lined up for its deep cleaning. Those jaws have become right. bulky. And this could happen to anybody. The machine does not look to be filthy. It's just right. stiff. Now what I'm doing is my thumb is on that little stob that I showed you. I'm going to push it down just enough to clear that this rail right here. Okay, show us again. All right, rail. now watch. See the jaws, the position? No, I, I was looking at the rail. Okay. So first show us the rail with your left finger. Right here. This is where mm -hmm. we're going. But now watch your jaws. See, when it moves to the right, this is, what, this is how you take it off. All right? And now it's in a position where this is frozen. It won't move. And the only way it can move is to open the jaws, you see? And what I think happens is that when things are lubricated and clean, yeah. it just happens automatically. Right. But you see, this has to be in that position mm -hmm. to go onto this rail like it's supposed to. But this is where it goes. The thing to do is to rotate your jaws so that they're back over here. We start it on. And there it goes, yeah. just like that. So but that's the position it's going to be But my advice to the knitter that's having trouble getting hers on, if she determines, don't go past those needles that are up. Okay. Um, if she determines that this is indeed the problem, it would behoove her not only to do what you just did, but to clean and lubricate, because yes. otherwise it's liable to get stuck again. That's right. This one's really stiff, and I had to work hard to get it to rotate where it should be a very smooth operation. But I want you to take a look at this. This machine is new to me, came from somebody who I know. It is not mistreated or dirty. It's just been sitting and not used for a while, and that alone can make you need to clean and lube it. Yeah.